Did you get an inkling that kind of what we saw happen post engagement was going to happen that night? Because we never usually mm-hmm. see someone say, I don't know if I want to show up. Right. Usually when you get to that point, that person mm-hmm. is ready to go there, whether right. they're going to accept a proposal or mm-hmm. they have no idea. You were struggling before mm-hmm. the engagement. Mm-hmm. Why was that? Because we never yeah. really got those answers. Yeah. My instincts were telling me I wasn't getting all the information I needed to make mm. a decision with Peter. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's intuition. That's intuition and that's instincts. And should I have stayed on that bed in Australia? Absolutely. But I wasn't going to give up on someone that I loved. And he, the last words he told me on our last chance date was that he was going to make the decision that is best for both of us and to trust him. And when you're with someone, you, you know, this is a wacky situation, but I'm taking it for what it is. When you're with someone, you trust their words. Yeah. And that's why I showed up because I was going to trust his words and follow through. And in the end, I think he, you know, took advantage of the fact that he conveniently left out very important information prior to me making a commitment with mm-hmm. him. And, you know, as the audience is watching this for the very first time, I'm just like an average viewer. Like I'm just like everyone else mm-hmm. watching this. Like a lot of information was left out. Which is why, Bachelor Happy Hour listeners, I need to reiterate this because I was the same way when I was in your yeah. position. This is Hannah Ann's first time truly watching this all go down. Yes. yes, she lived it, but there's so many pieces to this entire puzzle that she missed that she didn't see. And so she was backstage watching it just like we all were watching it. And so I'm sure in those moments and even now, there's going to be a lot that you're still processing. Can yeah. I ask you a question? When you yeah. say that there was a lot you didn't see, are you just talking about what happened post-engagement? Or are you also talking about what you watched the entire Uh, this whole journey, like all these weeks, this entire season, entire season, entirely. Like, Um, like explain that. Really? It was Peter wanted me to stay with him and he downplayed his feelings towards Madison, um, completely. Um, and even, you know, after our breakup, he couldn't really own up to it and reached out to my parents and said that he, you know, basically that, he was struggling processing all of his emotions. That's what he left it at and it was very vague. Um, he speaks half truths. And so when I, while I'm watching the season, I'm like, oh, well, okay. That makes a lot more sense. Like this, why we broke up makes a whole lot more sense because he couldn't really own up to the fact of how he was truly feeling. I want to know too. So after, Okay, so after you guys did get engaged and he Mm -hmm. was very vague about, oh yeah, Madison left two days ago, but you guys still ended up together. You have days when you're together Mm -hmm. before I'm sure you flew back to the US, before you you got back to your normal life. Did he in those moments ever disclose more of why she left? Did you guys get into that conversation? No, he always, whenever that conversation was brought up, it was always like, this is the past and always made sure to reassure me that I was his person, that I was the love of his life and that he was always going to choose me. So always kind of went in with that reassurance to where I'm like, hmm, okay. But as the season started to roll, things weren't quite adding up. And 